Hello, Potter. Why did it take you so long to pick up? What could you possibly be doing that is more important than talking to me? Honestly, if I didn't know you any better, I'd think you're a filthy mudblood. Wait a minute. Who are you with? Who's that behind you? Hang on a second. Red hair and hand-me-down robe? Must be a Weasley. I'm surprised you even get Wi-Fi in that dump of a house of yours, Weaselby. Now, do you mind leaving us alone? Need to talk to the Chosen One in peace, thank you very much. So obvious that some wizarding families are better than others, am I right? Listen, anyway, Potter, I need you to send me the answers to the potions class homework. I mean, yeah, of course I've done it. Things have just been a little bit crazy around Malfoy Manor recently. No, my Aunt Bellatrix broke out of Azkaban and you gave our stupid house elf a sock. What would you do that for? It's just a bit selfish of you, really, isn't Drake it, Potter? Right, uh, Hang on. Yes, Father? I'm sorry, Potter, I'm going to have to go. Daddy's calling. Granger, finally. How long does it take you to pick up? In all of that time, I could have enslaved an entire army of house elves. Replace the one that stupid Potter sent away. Hair's looking awfully frizzy today. And using that muggle shampoo again. I don't know why I bother recommending things to you if you're just going to ignore it. I give so much and it's wasted on people like you. And talking to you is charity enough. The fact that I want to give you advice is a real honour. Anyway, enough of the pleasantries. I just called to tell you I think you're a filthy my blood. And if you punch me in the face again, I'll get my father to kill your parents. He's a death eater, you know. You repeat that to anyone and they're just not going to believe you, are they, Granger? Stupid mudblood. Anyway, I've got to go. Nice chat. It's time for my weekly hair bleach. Mum's waiting. Toodles. Evening, Weaselby. How's the family? Still ginger? I'm surprised you even get Wi-Fi in that dump of a house of yours. Bit grand for you, isn't it, Weasley? Don't your family sleep in one room? But that's besides the point. I've got a question to ask you. Hold on. Is that Granger behind you? What's that filthy mudblood doing there? Put it on the phone. Oi, mudblood. What are you doing there? That sounds like a you problem. Are you going to leave so the wizards can talk now? Yeah, run back home to your stupid muggle parents. Let the real wizards talk, as much as you can call a Weasley a real wizard. Listen anyway, you red-headed reject. I need to ask you a question about Potter. He's not answering my calls. What do you mean he's busy? Just because he's the chosen one doesn't mean he's popular. And even if he was popular, that doesn't make him any better than me. It's like he doesn't even know who my father is. It's like, hello, Potter. My parents are friends with the man who killed your parents. If that's not reason to be my friend, I don't know what is. Excuse me, Professor Snape. Sorry to bother you like this, but I don't suppose my father's there, is he? You see, I tried to call him, but he didn't pick up. And I wondered where he was. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you in a Death Eater meeting? Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, how embarrassing. Is the Dark Lord there? Please send him my apologies. Sorry, Mr. Voldemort. I was just trying to find my dad. Oh, hello, Auntie Bellatrix. Broken out of Azkaban again, I see. Does that mean you'll be joining us this weekend for dinner? Great. Just out of interest, though, is my father actually there? What do you mean he can't come to the phone right now? I'm his son. Why wouldn't he want to talk to me? No, it can't wait. I don't want to tell my mother about this. She just doesn't hate Potter like I do. Stupid Potter. All right, fine. Have it your way. I'll just wait until he gets home. But if you wouldn't mind asking him to pick up a chocolate frog on the way home, I'd really like one. Thank you, Professor. Bye.